Hey guys, and uh, welcome to an impromptu video just talking about the events that happened in Double Game Week 27. As you can see on the screen, I'm using FPL Game Week, an amazing web browser that gives you updates as to how your team has performed up against other people in your mini leagues and around you in the world. And uh, yeah, guys, I can say that this wildcard I did has been an absolutely res resounding success. Um, in the first week, um, obviously, it's planned for the blank game week 29, which I only had four players playing in. Um, obviously, I brought KDB in for Sterling. Um, some other transfers as well, obviously, notably bringing in Kane as well. He hauled, uh, took Vardy out. Um, Regulon didn't do too bad, so but um, let's quickly just go over what's actually happened. Um, because, you know, some of you might be interested in some of the movement that's been happening in the mini leagues. Obviously, Steve has been doing a few content uh, for the members only. So I just thought I'd throw out a quick video just to kind of talk about uh, what's been going on in the mini leagues that we're interested in. First of all, I want to say to Cy Bellamy, also known as the best, that me and him have been having a battle for the last seven game weeks. Um, since I was 99 points behind Cy, I've caught up. And it's been an absolute massive swing. 119 point swing in seven game weeks. This week, it was down to him not having Concello playing and KDB hauling. That made it me jumping over him into first place. And I, I, there's, no, there's no script for this. Absolutely no script. I'm just talking off the cuff here. Uh, absolutely. Um, I can't, can't believe it, to be honest with you. The, the wild card has done really well. And I um, want to say thank you to the people who supported me um, on that uh, venture. I haven't really talked to a lot of people, to be honest. This wasn't something which I did uh, over the case of a couple of hours. It certainly wasn't something which I did on a whim. Uh, it was very much a case of, right, I'm going to hit two birds, one stone. I don't have a good team for Game of 29. And I can set my team up for um, for the future game weeks as well. Um, and I'm really happy with the players I brought in. The likes of Aubameyang, the likes of Son, uh, sorry, the likes of Kane, uh, KDB in the wildcard. Tierney could still do very well in those fixtures. Regulon as well, um, if he plays. Um, Watkins, yeah, is a bit of a is a bit of a risk. Um, Antonio, yeah, you know, mixed fixtures, mixed bag, but he is playing in twenty nine. Uh, Martinez, he just keeps getting those points. The City boys are staying in as Diaz, Gundogan, KDB. Obviously, there might be a slight rotation there with Gundogan as he's played three lots of ninety minutes. Um, KDB coming off like what sixty minutes, so I'm hopeful he play against Fulham. He's probably going to be my captain. There you go, Sai. Spoiler alert. Um, but guys, um, yeah. Um, Quickly looking over the mini league. So the Torbe Elite, I'm now above Cy Bellamy, um, like I said earlier on. Well, I'm now 11 points ahead of Cy, who finishes the game week on 49 points. Um, Helbiosa is on third place. Um, there's a massive gap now. Massive, massive gap developing. 42 points behind me, uh, third. And uh, I mean, catchable, of course, but it's just starting to starting to push away now. Which is good. Um, let's quickly go to the uh, Invitational uh, very quickly. Let's talk about that. Um, I was gonna do. I was gonna stream tonight, but I got home and I had my food. I thought, you know what? It's a bit late now. Um, invitational. Here we go. The Elite FPL, and also if I'd have streamed, KDB wouldn't have done nothing. Rice Rice Baby is still top um, there with eighteen oh three. Um, Chelsea till I die seventeen eighty three. This is when it gets interesting, guys. The Invitational, there is literally three points separating second, third, and fourth. And there I am, guys. I'm there in fourth place waiting to try and push forward, to try and get into the into the real serious money prizes of the Elite Invitational. And, um, yeah, I just want to say, like, you know, um, Bo Arias, if you're watching this, what's happened, man? What has happened? We have traded places, my friend. And, uh, yeah, realistically, I am actually thinking I'm in with the chance of winning uh, that Invitational Cup. So there you go, guys. Yeah, I'm hot on your tails. I know, uh, you know, some of you got chips on, my, on me and uh, you've got a little bit of an advantage, but um, who knows? Uh, Orgazoids, Chelsea Slide Die, literally a hair's width between me and you guys right now. Um, so yeah, as you can see also on the screen, I've had a green arrow. I'm up to 62,978 according to the uh, FPL Game Week website. Um, some of the slight variations on other websites. But guys, it's mental to be considering going into the top 50,000 um, for you know next next week, next game week or so. That's absolutely crazy. My goal was to try and break into the top 100,000 by the end of the season. This is a really good platform now to build upon getting into the top 50,000, which I consider a massive success, considering the 
the real downsides I've been having with my with uh, earlier on in the season with my uh, my point spending and my um, bad luck on captaincy picks. It's it's nice to have a captaincy pick that's actually uh, come through. Um, if I had have not wild carded and I was stuck with uh, with the likes of um, Vardy. Um, Sterling, you know, I, I I probably would have got quite depressed to be honest with you. Uh, let's quickly have a look at my my wild card. So basically, my pre wild card team, I would have had the likes. I did have Shaw to be fair, but I probably would have benched him. I would have probably played Fernandez, um, but I would have had um, Lookman still in my team, Sterling in my team. Not massive fan of Calvert Lewin at the moment. Vardy there, disappointing. I had Prayer and Dini in your team. We all know what happened there. Um, so yeah, it would have been a bit of a disappointment to be honest. And obviously Rudiger got benched, so I would have probably started him as well. So yeah, um, massive, massive swing in points. And I just want to say, you know, you know, I'm very much, I'm, I'm, I have a right to be smug about it. I'm a little bit smug about it because I, th I know a few people were like, oh, he's wild carded. He's wild carded. Where's he wild carded? This is a real good point of that. You don't need to just follow the crowd on your wild cards, guys. You really don't. There, everyone's got a time and a place to wild card. And if you identify a time and a weakness in your team that you feel that the fixtures are going to be coming up, that you'll need to get your players in for that um, and or double game weeks. Um, that's obviously that's obviously a major contributing factor. But yeah, guys, um, talking about this, we'll probably just have a phone in again on Friday night. Uh, Friday night, probably 8 o'clock. Uh, keep posted on social media. Get yourself in the Discord, guys. The Discord is a great place to be. Uh, the link is in the description. And uh, yeah. I'll see you Friday night. All the best, guys. All the best.